Matt, this is Dell. How can I help you? Oh, yes, sir. Of course, Mr. Renfro. I'm working on your page as we speak. It should be up and ready for use by uh, 4 o'clock. Uh, not a problem. And please feel free to contact me again if you have any questions. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Damn, Dell, you're a machine. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you take a lunch break in all the time I've worked here. Too much work to do to think about eating, Jack. Yeah, but you're the best guy around here. Shouldn't you be able to catch a work time in half? Oh, I do. But I also handle triple the amount of clients you do, Jack. Could you please keep that away from my desk? Okay. You're a pretty anal guy, huh, Dell? I'm a very introverted, right-brained individual. I wouldn't exactly say that makes me anal. Well, you're right. You're right. I apologize. Hey, uh, speaking of anal, I came across this nasty porno site yesterday. By accident. I... No, no, check it out. I got bored and wondered what would happen if I typed in my name as a website. So I typed in jackpierce.com, and it changed it into jackpierced.com or something. It took me to this whacked out smut page. Most internet servers are programmed to convert what it interprets as misspellings into the correct spelling for an already existing website. Unfortunately, that means that no one has been gracious enough to erect a page dedicated to patron saint, Jack Pierce. I can just feel my tears welling over here. Sweet Jesus, Dell. You gotta lighten up. You've been spending so much time in front of that damn computer, you've forgotten how to interact with real people. God damn it, Jack. Can't you see I've got work to do? You're a busy man. I guess I'll let you get back to your work now. But, uh... Have yourself a happy birthday when you get a chance, huh, Dal?
November 5th, 1955. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Even at an early age, Dell was well versed in any kind of up and coming technology. He would oftentimes be caught taking apart his train sets and toys so he could study their workings. Vera Harrigan recalls Dell was always very interested in how things were put together. Whenever he would get a new toy, he would tear it apart, study it, and forget about it. He never really played like boys his age. Do you have one of the guys from the office make it up for you as a birthday joke? It was very good, Mother. What? Well, no. I left the message myself. Didn't it sound like me? I just wanted to leave you a happy birthday message. So you didn't make up that webpage as a birthday joke? Webpage? Dale, are you all right? I really don't understand what you're talking about. Mother, what do you know about my webpage? Dale, your webpage? I don't understand. Dale, what's the matter? Kiss. This just isn't possible. Well, Dad, I'm here. I know it's uh, been a while. You probably wouldn't even recognize me. You haven't changed much, maybe a little thinner. Scene looks familiar. We never talked, Dad. What'd you think? One time. I always regretted the fact you were my son.
It was a seemingly ordinary evening for Dell. After a day of work and a small dinner, he sat down at his computer terminal and enjoyed browsing the internet. enjoy a drink, not realizing it would be his last. And then went back to his computer. He failed to notice, however, the suspicious truck parked across the street. Dell. Oh, Jesus. Dell. 